sup. I'd like to apologize in advance. I have a gnarly cold right now, so I sound just so great. <coughs> Can't stop coughing either. It's not the Rona, don't worry. I don't have the Rona, I just, I just got a cold. I'd like to apologize also for my lack of peppiness in this video because I'm not feeling it. Um, but I didn't want to skip another week, so here we are. We're going to do something relatively uh, easy. We're going to season a cast iron skillet. You can do a lot of things with cast iron skillets. I make pizza in them. Um, I usually make my cornbread in them. Um, I have a pot that I cook my chili in, a, a cast iron pot that I cook chili in, which is great. Don't be terrified of cast irons. They're really not that scary. I mean, they seem scary because they can be temperamental at times, but they're really not. They're not scary. I Today, I will be seasoning this bad boy, which is what we took camping with us, and I seasoned it before we went camping, but it rained a couple of days and it got wet, so it got a little rusty. And this little guy, he's got um, some rust on him that we're gonna clean off with cast irons. If you put them away wet, they will get rusty. If you don't season them properly, they will get rusty. I'm trying to think, my brain has just not been working for four days. Um, but they give good flavor, especially like if you're doing meat. Like we don't eat a ton of meat in this house, but um, if you do eat meat, cast irons are really great for that. You know, people make skillet cookies in them all the time. The only thing that probably isn't the the best to do are large batches of acidic foods like tomato sauces or anything with like vinegar in it or wine because the acidity in that will break down the season on it um, after a while. But I mean, if you're putting tomatoes in something that's not gonna, like I put tomatoes in my chili, it's not gonna kill the seasoning on it. Most cast irons come pre-seasoned. Uh, I have seen cast irons at garage sales that people are selling for five, 10 bucks, or even going to Goodwill or a thrift store and getting a cast iron. Even if it's rusty, you can always clean it up and make it useful. So I think people think once it gets rusty, you can't use it anymore. Honestly, the older cast iron gets, the better uh, flavor you tend to get. I mean, as long as you <laughs> clean the rust off, that sounded so dumb. It's better as it ages. You know, it's virtually indestructible. I mean, if you cook something and then run it underwater, there's a tendency that, or a potential that they could crack. Cast irons, um, if I can convert the other person in my household to just using cast irons, I would. But, uh, you know, they're kind of expensive, but. Like I said, you can go to Goodwill or any thrift store and find one that's, uh, you know, pre-loved and just give her a nice good um, scrubbing. Hey all you cool cats and kittens, voiceover Kirsten here. So what you want to start to do with your cast iron is give it a nice good scrub. The thing about cast irons that you need to understand is that it's all one piece and you can't just season the part that you cook with. So you want to scrub the top and the bottom and just get all that nasty rust off. You want to use a mild dish soap and a steel wool. I'm pretty sure the steel wool already has soap on it but I put a little on just because I didn't know that when I started scrubbing but give the whole entire thing a nice scrub down. So once you have it nice and scrubbed off, you're gonna want to take it over to your stove and turn the stove on to a medium, medium high heat. Basically what we're gonna do with this is we're going to get it as dry as we possibly can. If any water mixes with oil, you're gonna screw up your seasoning. So once it's bone dry, you're going to take a paper towel in whatever oil you keep on hand. I have to keep flaxseed oil on hand. And you're going to give it a nice thin layer of oil all over the pan. 
make sure you get the bottom side too because like I said it's one piece and you can't just season the part that you cook with So once you have done that, you're going to take a clean paper towel and you're going to wipe any excess oil off. I usually do two or three times of this just to make sure that I have all the excess oil off. Cast irons are porous, which means they're going to soak in a lot of the oil too, but that's how you get the nice shiny glassy texture on them. And you're going to want to put this in a preheated oven on the highest setting it'll go. Mine happens to be 500. And you want to put it upside down and you want to leave it in there for an hour. After an hour in the oven, you'll turn the oven off. And you can either take it out to let it cool. Or I usually just let mine stay in the oven to cool overnight. The result will be this nice, shiny, um, I still have oil on my hands. This nice, shiny, glossy um, texture. And that's how you know that your um, pan is seasoned. Let's talk about caring for your cast iron after you've seasoned it and cooked with it. Like I said earlier, you don't want to put a hot pan under cold water because you'll risk it cracking. You want to let it cool down enough so that it won't crack, but you don't want it to be too cold that food sticks to it. So when you go to clean it, when you go to clean it, I'm running out of breath way more than I normally am. I don't have Rona. <laughs> when you go to clean in the sink, just take like the rough side of your sponge and just scrape the little food particles off of it and just wash it with some mild soap. Um, if stuff's really stuck on there, you can take some salt and just sprinkle it on there and help work it up and it won't really damage the seasoning all that much. So once that's dry you're going to stick it back on the stove to make sure that it's as dry as possible because you don't want to put it back wet because that's how you get rust. Um, put a little coating of oil where you cooked. Um, wipe it like we just like we did a layer and then wipe that layer off as much as possible because again you don't want a really sticky layer. And then you're going to put it on the stove top and you're gonna bring it up so that the oil smokes because if you don't bring the oil past its smoking point it's not the oil is gonna go rancid when you t put it away and then you're just gonna basically have a nasty icky smelling cast iron for ever. I don't have any video of me doing that though because I haven't cooked anything in my cast irons in a while because like I said I've been sick and I just don't feel like cooking. Although, we're going to have chili tonight, so whoop whoop. So, I hope this video was helpful to you. Again, I'm sorry <laughs> that I sound and look horrible and the lighting's horrible. I'm just, I'm not in, in a, in a, not in a very creative mood right now. But I did clean the kitchen for you because it was a mess. But anyways... I hope you enjoyed this video. I promise that the next video is going to be a lot more peppy. I don't know what we're doing yet. If you have any ideas of what you want to see, please let me know. Thanks for watching. And like I said, if you have any ideas of what you want to see next, just let me know. Um, all right. Bye, my little shamrocks. Uh, quick question. Does anybody else's cat sleep in the clean clothes? Franklin. Hi, fat man. Oh, yes. Oh, you're so handsome. You're so handsome. Hi, fat man. Oh, you're so handsome. Oh, yes. Oh, mama loves you. Yes, she do. Oh, look at that face.